behaving like one Christ. And so they call them Christians first in Antioch. So the question is, in your place of work, how do you behave? In the compound where you are living, how do you behave? You can imagine Jesus walking in a place and fighting with everybody in that place. You can imagine Jesus living in a compound and fighting everyone in that compound. And we are all ambassadors of Christ. The meaning of ambassadors of Christ is wherever you find yourself, you are representing Jesus. You are standing there on the behalf of Jesus. You are not talking to this one in that company. You are not talking to this one. Oh, what is your problem? Say, say all of them, they are satanic agents. All of them, they get witch. Anybody that is suspecting people that they have witch, witch, that person is also a witch. It takes a witch to know a witch. The easiest way to catch a thief is to, is to send a thief after a thief. One, man, one guy came back and he saw the sister crying. They came and stole everything in the house. He said, you mean this house? He said, I'm coming. He said, I'm coming. They stole. He said, just wait, I'm coming. He went and caught the thief. Because they are together. <laughs> All that was stolen was restored. Takes a thief to catch a thief. Everybody is a witch. It's a, everybody. Everybody is a witch in the compound. How do you know a witch? Don't behave like they behave. I remember we were, we were in a shop. I think when we were trying to do the decoration of this altar, we were in a shop. And I, 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 they were calling the, the owner of the shop, pastor, pastor. Ah, when they say pastor, we look. But I realized they were really talking to me. They were calling the owner of the shop, pastor, pastor. So I said, excuse me, pastor of which church, sir? He said, I'm not the pastor. He said, I'm not a pastor. It's just that I behave like a pastor. The woman that took us there said, he behaves like a pastor. He prays for me. Doing very well, businessman. He said, every weekend, he must carry Bible to preach to people. Visiting hospitals. Going to the prison. You go to his shop. He can't sit down. From the time we went into that shop till we left, he was standing, counting money, calculating money. Praise God. Do you behave like Christ? When people see you, do they see Christ? Paul the Apostle speaking, he said, We are letters to the world, epistles to the world. We are the light of the world. We are meant to show them way. We are meant to be fraud liners. We are meant to be to be to be to be to be to be pathfinders, role models, pace setters. People are meant to be copying us. We are not to be copying them. Praise God. I say, praise God. Don't behave like they behave. They gossip, you gossip. What is the difference? Huh? They do amebo, you do amebo. What is the difference? They insult, you insult. What is the difference? They take bribe, you take bribe. What is the difference? Talk to me. They get boyfriend, you get boyfriend. What is the difference? They commit abortion, you commit abortion. What is the difference? What is the difference? They take drugs to pre prevent pregnancy. You are also taking drugs to prevent pregnancy. What is the difference? I'm talking about those that are not married. They take drugs to prevent pregnancy. The meaning of that is, I must meet a man. Who. So prevention is better. But you don't know you are destroying your womb. <laughs> Payday is coming. I'm speaking to somebody now. Payday is coming. Keep taking the drugs. A day will come, you will not need to take the drugs. And the child say, I won't come. Because so, some things have been damaged. The, the drugs, they have, they, have, they, have, they, have caused, they have caused complication over time. Over time. Keep yourself. 
the pace. Stop the trucks. Sorry, somebody's angry, but no verse. Take your seat as we close. One point to note on Thanksgiving, because today we are thanking God as we go home. One point to note on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the secret of acceleration. That's what I'd like you to go home with. Thanksgiving is the secret of acceleration. Thanksgiving is the secret of acceleration. You want to see speed. You want to see speed. Learn to thank God at every given point. Thank him. 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 A little raise on your salary. Just a hundred naira. Give God thanks and praise him as if they added a million naira. It's the secret of acceleration. It's the secret of speed. It's the secret of speed. After this service, now all the church workers will gather. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. Nobody's complaining. We thank you. Everything that has happened, we thank you. We thank you. It's the secret of acceleration. When you thank God, see, you must have reason to give him thanks again and again and again. Because appreciation is application for appreciation. Can I hear your loudest? Amen. Amen. <laughs> see the speed of Jesus. Because he knew how to give thanks. Three and a half years. Only three and a half years. And we are here to recover from his massive monumental impact. Three and a half years because of he, Father, thank you because you always hear me. Short prayer. Thank you because you always hear me. Thank you. At the, at the tomb of Lazarus. Is that, is that the time to thank somebody that died for four days, right? Four days. For this. Father, thank you because you always hear me. And you have heard me. Lazarus, come forth. <laughs> Five loaves, two fishes. Father, thank you. Because all these people shall be fed. See, when you are thanking God, don't think about the future. Just, just, just centered on the present. Leave the future in the hand of God. Just leave tomorrow. For the today that you have seen, thank God for it. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? <laughs> the today you have seen, thank God for it. The tomorrow you have not seen, when that tomorrow comes, thank God. It's the secret of acceleration. People that know how to thank God, they, they go fast in line. They go fast in line. They go fast in line. They go fast in life. They go fast in life. They go fast in life. I prophesy to somebody in this service today and somebody watching us online. Today, I declare that God will fast forward your life. Every delay that COVID-19 brought your way in the name of Jesus, I declare that there shall be supernatural speed. All that you are meant to get that you didn't get as a result of this COVID-19. From now to 31st of December, may God give you double of it. Jump on your feet and let God feel your loudest of man. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, neighbor. Forget what is happening. Thank God. Good. The others were thinking of what was happening, but Jesus never taught her about what is happening or what was happening. He said, What can this one do? That was what they were thinking. What can this one do? What, what can this one do? And anybody that read economics, you will agree with me that supply must be equivalent to demand. Huh? What can this one do now? What can this one do? But Jesus never. Father, thank you. He, he didn't even listen to them. Oh yeah, give to the people. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Thank you. Give to the people. <laughs> I remember what happened. My, my car, my car was overheating. So I gave to them to repair. Since they repaired it, there was no challenge again. And then yesterday, I drove to where the media people were playing our program. And then, ah, ah, 
overheating. It has reached the end. That's the temperature. Huh? I said, okay, what do I do? To stop now and to top water or something. And I'm, I was running somewhere. I lay hand on the, not the bonnet, the dashboard. I say, calm, behave well. <laughs> temperature, be normal. Father, thank you because this car will take me home. The car took me home. I didn't stop. And you know, when car is overheating, if you get to traffic, it makes matter worse. Now, so traffic, traffic, traffic. On, then the traffic at Pandediam, that, that was around that 738, was terrible yesterday. But as I did that prayer, and I refused to look at the temperature, when I brought my eye to the temperature, it has gone down. This morning, maybe mommy saw me. No water in the car. I didn't say you should go and do that if your faith is not. <laughs> because everything is what? Faith. Everything is faith. Pastor Adeboye was traveling with his driver. And then he said, sir, fuel has finished. He said, fuel cannot finish. Keep going. And the fuel got finished. He said, father, let this car take us to Lagos in peace. And the car took them to Lagos. Shout hallelujah. Father, I thank you. I don't have money now, but I want to sleep. By the time I wake up, I raise my pillow. Let me see money. Thank you, Father. And she, she, they are laughing now because it's not for <laughs> Shout hallelujah. And then one point to note on prophetic blessing because next Sunday is pastor's appreciation service where we are coming to appreciate our pastors. Every divine prophet carries reward. Every divine prophet. That's the point I'd like you to note it. Every, every divine prophet carries reward. Every divine prophet carries reward. Somebody may want to ask, what is the reward of a prophet? Favor, breakthrough, prosperity, success, increase, enlargement, long life. Every, prof every prophet of God carries a preservation mantle. By a prophet, God brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, Israel was preserved. Every prophet of God carries the mantle of moving you from where you are not meant to be to where you are meant to be. By a prophet, God brought Israel out of Egypt. Every prophet of God carries prosperity mantle. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe in his prophet, so shall you what? Prosper. Hallelujah. So, 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 please note that you need prophet's reward to experience a blissful life on this earth. If life must be sweet and if life must be meaningful, you need a prophet's reward. So next Sunday, we are coming to appreciate our pastors that have been a blessing to us. A blessing to us. They have been sowing spiritual things into your life. Next Sunday, you are meant to sow material things into their lives. Into their lives. When they did that to the early church, Paul the Apostle opened his mouth in Philippians 4.19. And my God shall supply all your according. Can I hear your loudest? Amen. Please take your seats. Matthew chapter 10 verse 41. Matthew chapter 10 verse 41. Matthew chapter 10 he that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive what? A prophet's reward. And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man receive a righteous man's reward. Reward. So every prophet of God carries reward. But the reward is at the mercy of you releasing something towards the direction of the prophet. That's what we're doing next Sunday. So get something, whatever it is. Shoe, wristwatch, clothes, food stop, whatever it is that God lays in your hand. I want to be a blessing to this pastor. These are, these are things we have to tell you. It's not as if we are begging or we are looking for it. You have, you have not been giving me prophet offering, but PJ in is still shining. It's not, it's not because we need it, but we have to tell you so that you are blessed. We, we brought up this because in the pastor's meeting they brought it up and they felt people should do it 
and let people be blessed. Otherwise, they have been pressing me to do that and I didn't want to. So please, everybody have that in mind. And I believe that as you do, my God will bless you richly. Can I pray for one person here? Between now and 31st of December, God will so bless you that you will look up and down and you will say, no, this blessing is not me. This blessing is not me. Last night, I, I didn't wake up to pray in the night. I, I set alarm and the alarm, alarm, and I off it. I said, maybe they should leave me alone. Let me sleep. But I, <laughs> I know I couldn't pray in the night. But in a revelation, I saw just, just little children. Small like this. In that dream, pam, pam, pew, pam, pam, two, pam, pam, three, to 21. God told me that between now and the 31st of December, he's going to raise for me 21 millionaires. Where, where are they here? 21. 21. 21 millionaires. And that's why from, from 1st October to 31st of December, the theme is months of what? Prosperity and supernatural abundance. The 31st. Except you didn't, you, didn't, you didn't do business with the teachings I will bring your way. But I want to, God cannot lie. I want to hold God by his word. Because my assignment is to tell you what to do. To tell you what to do. He can't lie. Don't lie. Myself and my wife will be coming on the altar here. Three, four, that is from October. Three nights. Three nights till 31st of December. Maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, as we may arrange. Three nights. The 21 millionaires must come up. Can God give people money? Are you sure? He can. He can. He can. He can. He can. See, somebody may not have anything now. Today, but tomorrow the person is in money. Bam! This thing they call money is called connection. And that is what so many of us need. Connection. Connection. You don't get money because you know how to struggle. I'm telling you. Money is connection. Some of you are very good. Very good, you know what you are doing, but your problem is no connection. No connection, nobody, nobody, nobody to talk to a senator about you. Nobody to carry you to Governor Ganduje. Connection. Just one connection. And get ready for connections. Eh? <laughs> connections. Money will flow like water. But if you heed to the teachings, but by the 31st of December, by the end of October, I want to confirm those that are experiencing millions already. When we say a millionaire, you must have asset worth millions. When we say a millionaire, at least in your, in your bank account should be nothing less than six figures. You know what I mean by six figures? You know, Praise God. <laughs> you never tire with 10,000 10, balance of your account. <laughs> you go and put 5,000 today. Tomorrow you go back and say, I beg, I want to withdraw 3,000. <laughs> Rise to your feet. <laughs> Lift up your hands and glorify the king of kings. Banks, they don't like that kind of money. Where's bank manager? Eh... Uh, Darlington, Darlington, do you like that kind of money in the bank where you put 50,000 today, tomorrow the person comes back and says, I want to withdraw 49,000. <laughs> Lift up your hands and wave them to the King of Kings and appreciate him. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name. Father, we give you the praise and give you the glory and give you the praise and give you the glory and give you the praise. There are some of you, eh? You are going to leave five million in your bank account for banks to use. 
just drop it there and forget. Idle fund. That is the kind of money banks want. Don't be this type way they do. They don't tire. They don't know how to drive you. That's why that. <laughs> Today we are not asking God for anything. We are only thanking God. Lift up your hands and thank Him once again for all He has done for you in the month of August. Celebrate Him and give Him the praise. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Please do have your seat.